Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladi Studio and today I am going to discuss about swap blend command in Revit and it is a series of family creation. So I am going to create new family file here and I am going to select new and if you are working in metric profile, you will select metric and I am working in imperial. So I am going to select family templates and I am going to select English imperial. And now we'll look for generic model profile. So I'm going to select this one generic model dot RFT. I'm going to select and I'm going to open. And now we are in floor plans. That is the top view of reference level. And, this, and it is uh, also having elevations view and back front left right. And this is selling plans. So uh, first we are required to create a family from this tool swap blend. And in my previous tutorials, I have discussed about these four tools here: extrusion, blend, revolve, sweep. So we can refer to my previous tutorials, and you can subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. These all are free tutorials. So I am going to select this swap blend. And after uh, selecting the command, it is asking to sketch a path or pick a path. So I'm going to draw a sketch path like we did in sweep command here. I'm going to draw a arc and unlike sweep command that is having only one working plane. You are, you are seeing here there are two working plane in swap blend. So uh, we are in our floor plan that is top view that that's why our working plane is looking like a straight line if you go to your 3d view you can see these are the two working plane so we are required to draw two shape for swap blend and now i am going to finish my path here and after that you can see this is the, uh, select profile one and select profile two so this is the uh, profile one and this is profile two so we are required to draw shapes here so after uh, selecting uh, um, profile one, I'm going to edit profile here. And now you are required to draw any shape here. This is the active uh, profile here. So I'm going to draw a circle here. You can draw any other shapes also. So you need to understand first. And you can see, you can take any radius here. I'm going to draw any circle here and after that we can click this one finish edit mode after drawing the shape so I'm going to finish this and now it is asking to select profile 2 and after that I'm going to edit profile and you can draw your next shape so I'm going to draw an inscribed polygon and suppose it is six sides so I'm going to take this and I'm going to draw a hexagon here of any shape and you can finish this and you can click this finish edit mode and again and you can see this is the magic of swap blend tool here and it by you are seeing this here it is circle and it is a hexagon here so you can use to create some creative shapes by swap blend and again, if you want to edit this, you can go here, edit swap blend. And now you can select profile one and you can edit profile. And suppose I want uh, some other shape here. I'm going to delete this and I can draw any other shape also. Suppose I'm going to draw any interesting shape here. And I'm going to finish this and you can see it has taken that profile here so it is very uh, very very interesting tool here so again if you want to edit you can go to edit swap blend and you can select this profile and you can edit this also and you can take any other shape so so you can use uh, this uh, profile in architectural project and you can directly uh, after finishing you can uh, go to properties and apply 
materials from material and finishes category and you can directly load into project or you can save as a family here so you can directly load into your project from here or you can save as a family from file and save as a family and you can later on you can use in your project and you can create your own library so this was the tutorial for today's and the next video tutorial we discuss about some more commands so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe my channel thanks